my dad is real sarcastic all the time, like real sarcastic. And like, ever since I, I told him I was doing comedy, which I just started doing, I told him I was doing comedy, everything's a joke. Everything's a joke. <laughs> like, I'll call, he'll pick up like, hey, Richard Pryor. <laughs> You Richard Pryor now. <laughs> like, oh, uh, we um, you know, me and your mama got the tickets to your HBO special. <laughs> like, Dad, it's a class showcase. They ain't no damn. I'm still doing open mics. He's like, yeah, man, but you funny, man. You gotta use that in a joke. That's the joke right there. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Your mama wanna say something? You get a job, Norman. <laughs> Your mama says hello. <laughs> Your mama says hello. But um, yeah, you, you, you gonna be all right. Hey, Dad, like I gotta get serious somewhere in this conversation. Yeah, okay, okay. <laughs> I, all right, right now, you know I don't really have money. I'm out here struggling. I'm in LA struggling. I need help. You know I got I got bills. You know cables due. I gotta pay for gas. Blah blah blah. That well, just tell him a joke. Well, you a funny man. <laughs> You understand me? Yeah, you know, I got just tell him a joke. Hey, I got a, I got a job right now. Some of us got real jobs. Just keep telling jokes. Hang up the phone. Damn shame. Basically what I'm saying is my support system isn't where it should be. <laughs> That's what I'm saying in a nutshell. Um, but my mom has always been like that. Like, get a job, get a job. You gotta get a job. She's been like that ever since I was little. I remember I was a little kid. It's like, you need to get a job. And once I had to break it down, I said, listen, woman. So I said, listen, I'm 11 years old right now. There's no reason for me to be getting no damn job. I got homework. You and me filling out applications. Tripping. Really tripping. And like, she did that all the way through college. Like, look, I played college, I played college basketball, full ride scholarship. That's it. That's break right there. Uh, you know, and all throughout college, my mom would call me. Talking about look for a job. You need to look for a job. I said, Mom, I'll be damned. What you mean right here? <laughs> okay? Yeah, I'm still unemployed. So I ain't sure about that shit. But, uh, let me get back to my shit. <laughs> let me get back to what I'm saying. So, anyway. All throughout college, she was like, you need to get a job. You need to get a job. Get a job. I'm like, look, mom, college athletes can't work. We play, you know what I'm saying? We play basketball, go to school. Oh, college athletes can't work, but you can work. <laughs> I said, mom, look, I, I can't work. You know, this is, what I, this is what I do. She said, hold on. Okay, see, when your parents can't tell you what to do, what do they do? They try to have somebody else talk for them. She said, hold on, let me get your brother on the phone. Here, tell him to get a job. <laughs> Hello? <laughs> yeah? Have you found a job yet? Are you looking for a job? <laughs> I said, have you graduated the eighth grade yet? If you up here ask me, it wasn't even my smart brother that talks all the time. It was my brother that always be looking up like... <laughs> Like he's following the little floaty things in his eyes. Like, I was like, you better get off this damn phone. I ain't looking for no job. Playing basketball. That's what I did. But um, no, I did have a job. And it's crazy because like I watch a lot of television now, right? And you ever see people on television, they search for the craziest things. There's people that search for ghosts. People that search for river monsters and Bigfoot. There's people that look for Bigfoot and get paid. <laughs> That's the real place in my heart, right? Because I look for other things like jobs. You know I look for real jobs. And they're up here looking for Bigfoot. They get the same look as I do searching for jobs. None of them found Bigfoot. I ain't found no jobs. We're in the same boat. We together. Yeah, we a team right now. And it's funny because when you don't have no job, a lot of people come up to you. You know, people come to you in suits. Like, how you doing, sir? I'm all right. So what do you do? Because mm -hmm. see, 
Have you ever asked somebody what they do and they tell you everything but what they do? <laughs> That's me. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> like, you can find a job uh, with your smile. <laughs> uh, so like, I started explaining stuff. When people got good jobs, like, I'm a lawyer, I'm a doctor. This is what I do. For me, I just started explaining shit. I'm like, um. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> uh, I be doing a lot of shit, you know? I, be doing, uh, uh, I used to play ball. I used to, I used to play ball. Uh, and that's what it is, because it's like, I don't know what I did. <laughs> I'm telling you, you really don't know what you do when you say you don't have no job. <laughs> yeah, he's like, where's the joke? We waiting for the joke. <laughs> and me too. <laughs> to be real. <laughs> like, where, where the hell are we going at? Let me say something. So I've been dating a lot of different people, right? a lot of different women. I'm trying to find the right one. Clean that one up. Yeah, yeah, like people, hold on, look at it twisted. I'm talking about women. I ain't trying to be offensive to anybody that's like that out here. Well, I don't swing that way. But y'all know. that clear. I'm a good looking dude, but I ain't like that. But anyway, so, nah, so, like, girls out here, they're attracted to a lifestyle. They're not attracted to the person. I try to tell who you are. These niggas like, you right, bro. You right. I'm You know what I'm saying? So now I'm, in this, I'm in an awkward stage. Like, I'm looking for a girl to love me for me. You know? I'm out on that note. No, I'm playing. I'm playing. I'm playing. I'm looking for laughs. I'm getting awes. But like I was saying, I'm looking for a girl to love me for me. And not the person that I tricked them into believing I was. You know what I'm saying? That's what I'm looking for. All y'all get up and applaud for me too, man. I appreciate it. I'm Norman Towns. Thank you for your time.